set to be another tough week as teachers return again to campus at Stoneman Douglas High School, but they're getting tons of support as they get ready to welcome students to classes on Wednesday. CBS 4's Riel Creighton is live at the school in Parkland with that part of the recovery. Riel? Uh, Elliot, today was another day in that very long process of reopening the doors here at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas. You may remember that teachers were first here on Friday. That was to begin the healing process and to reconnect on the grounds, well, where it really needed to happen. But today was the day they got to work. Welcome back. Have a good one. Cheers and signs to greet teachers entering Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School, the first official day at work since 17 co workers and students were gunned down. God bless you. Irma Perone amid a handful of supporters standing at the entrance. And they're having such a hard time. You know, many of them have seen the nastiest thing you can ever imagine. It is very hard day today. I'm just like shaking for everybody. All teachers and staff were expected to report to the high school Monday for planning in preparation for students' arrival on Wednesday. Sunday marked a somber return for survivors. Students and parents back for a voluntary orientation for the first time since the massacre. The freshman building where the shooting happened now permanently off limits. I was here to pick him up that day. It was uh, the longest eight hours of my life. And I'm, uh, I'm not ready to let him go yet. The emotional scene inside captured in pictures on Twitter. As Stoneman Douglas's principal, Ty Thompson, as promised, hugged every student as they entered and stood by to comfort his educators. This morning, a rainbow shining over MS Douglas seemed a symbol of what's certain to be a week of new beginnings, of learning how to cope with a new reality for fathers like Ian Kravitz and his daughter, a junior at the school. She doesn't want to come back, and I don't blame her, but uh, we're going to help the teachers so we can help them, and we could all come together and help all these kids get through this over time. Now, all of this is in preparation for what uh, so many are calling the big day, the day that students arrive. That is Wednesday. Students will be on a modified schedule. They'll have a half day through the end of the week. We're live in Parkland. Rael Creighton, CBS 4 News.